Thanks for taking a quick look at how you can tackle high concurrency with Snowflake multi-cluster warehouses. In the real world, database demand from users and applications is rarely static. Looking at a standard BI reporting use case, there might be a flurry of users querying reports early in the morning, followed by a mid-morning lull and spikes throughout the day. Traditional databases, even those deployed in the cloud, are purchased with fixed static capacity. This means in times of low demand, you pay for more compute than you need. Even worse, in times of high demand, user queues develop and queries fail. Traditional databases don't have any flexible way to automatically scale to support any degree of concurrency. More capacity can be purchased and manually added to a single cluster, but that has diminishing returns with each successive addition and only increases the amount of wasted capacity during times of low demand. Snowflake's unique architecture allows for the complete separation of storage, compute, and services. This means that multi-cluster warehouses can be configured which automatically add completely separate clusters and drop them to support any degree of concurrency. In the case you see here, there's a single Snowflake medium virtual warehouse that is set to effectively double to a 2x medium with higher demand. One of the most important things to note here is this happens completely automatically and doesn't need the intervention of a user or administrator. Multi-cluster warehouses are extremely easy to set up. Simply select the minimum number of clusters in addition to the maximum number of clusters and Snowflake will automatically scale to the perfect number of clusters when there are queued queries. Even using the smallest Snowflake warehouse, the extra small, it takes quite a few concurrent queries to initiate auto-sailing, since a number of queries can run concurrently, even on the extra small. That's why I'm going to use three users today to demonstrate how auto-scaling works. We have Ross, Christina, and Sam. Each one of them is going to run three queries at the same time, so there'll be a total of nine queries running at once. I'm going to fast forward while I start all of these queries. All right, they're running. Let's go check the history tab as a fourth user, Matt. As you can see, the first nine queries are running on the first cluster, but Snowflake has automatically spun up the second cluster to handle the final two queries that were queued. And there you have it. Without any interference or management from me, Snowflake is automatically scaled up to handle the concurrency of my three users. In summary, where traditional databases force you to pay for more database that you need in times of lower demand and suffer through latency and failed queries in times of higher demand without any way to adjust, Snowflake can automatically adapt to both situations to lower your costs and increase performance. At the end of the day, it makes it easy to flexibly respond to demand in order to increase insight and lower costs.